The Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC 2020 senior officials meeting opened today with a focus on the shared prosperity agenda. Its chairman, Hayril Yahri Yaqub, said this was in line with the APEC commitment to redefine the role of trade and investment towards a more inclusive socio-economic development. Malaysia, a host, convened the meeting at the Langkawi International Convention Center this morning by inviting all 21 APEC nations to discuss current economic challenges. Every economy, I believe, has been undertaking one or another policy to provide a better living for its citizens. And there are businesses already taking larger responsibility in contributing to a better model of society. We just have to consolidate this efforts in Malaysia's post year. In addition, Charting of APEC and post-2020 vision could not have provided a better opportunity for APEC to demonstrate its seriousness, seriousness in addressing the current economic turmoil. He added that APEC can play a role in overcoming negative perception about investment and trade liberalization that has been putting pressure on equitable prosperity in this region. Environmental sustainability and climate change were also given the spotlight. Since APEC started 30 years ago, the region's economy grew from 23.5 trillion US dollars in 1990 to 66.2 trillion US dollars in 2018, an average of 3.7% per year. APEC 2020 will be a historic one. The last time it was hosted in Malaysia was in 1998, also under the leadership of Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad.